Being a baddie e-girl is not easy, especially when you're dating one of the hottest male actors in the world, right? Just like him, the hottest male kitty in the world. The hottest, most beautiful kitty, Lord Byron in the world. He says hello. Hi guys. This is Lord Byron's Instagram, my Instagram, our TikTok. Check us out, give this video a like, and let's go. So the story is almost finished, guys. We only have like two or three chapters left. This is E-Girl chapter 11. And there was some drama in the last chapter, so exciting. Let's see if we're gonna stick by our man or we're gonna actually let him go forever. Have we got a scoop for you? Hollywood's hottest male actor, Mason Scott, may not be such a nice guy after all. His former assistant spills the beans and accuses him of being an arrogant and rude prick. Seriously, why do these celebs always turn out to be rotten people in real life? Someone seems jaded. Stay tuned for more details in the next hour. What? That's a total lie. Yes. Mason is an arrogant or rude. Has he seen this? I have to call him. Hey. Mason, have you seen the Hollywood Insider? Are you all right? I'm gonna say, are you all right? Are you all right? Not really. What's going on? Talk to me. I know what they're saying is a lie. Well, I probably am a rude and arrogant person sometimes, but of course it's a lie. Why would your former assistant say all of that? Because I fired him for stealing my stuff. Oh, you jerk. Look at that hair from the back, it's so nice. Joe, what are you doing? I, I was just rearranging your shirts. All done now, bye. Why is he acting so weird? Maybe he's stealing my underwear or something. <laughs> he was stealing my underwear. What? Why would he do that? That's so weird. That is the weirdest thing I've ever heard. So he was selling your underwear? Guys, I can't with him. You're telling me? I found out when they turned up on StarAuction.com. Where are all my underwear? On StarAuction.com, apparently. What? Here. <gasps> Oh my gosh, Mason Scott's pre-owned boxers. Tap to zoom in. Oh my God. Genuine underwear owned and worn by A-list actor Mason Scott himself. Even smells like him. Oh my God, for $359, buy it now for $900. Also check out my profile for other genuine pre-owned Mason Scott stuff. I only have a dozen of his underwear left. Check out my profile for the rest. So don't miss out on your chance to grab it now. Oh my God, it's so sketchy. Ew. My boxers can sell for 900 bucks? Only if they smell like you. I hope he didn't actually sniff them though. Ugh, I'm going to kill him. I didn't kill him, but I did fire him. Wow. Can you tell a paparazzi what happened? Did you make a police report? Did you make a police report? You definitely could. I didn't want him to be arrested. That felt like a bit much. I'm hoping this will die down in a couple days. Anyway, I only care about what the people who matter to me think, like you. You do believe me, don't you? Um, I never doubted you for a second. Of course I believe you. Your story's kind of hard to believe. I'm gonna say that. Do you even need to ask? Of course I believe you. I never doubted you for a second. Mason has touched that you never doubted him. That's such a relief. It's really the only thing that matters to me that you believe me. You're a good guy. I know you would never have treated anyone badly. After everything we've been through together, you never doubted me? Honestly, this whole mess is worth it just because of that. Wow, because you needed to test me again. I see how it is. I see it all now. I don't know if I'd go that far. <laughs> Anyway, my PR manager told me to lie low for a few days. Hopefully they'll move on to another celeb scandal soon. Hey, where are you right now? Aren't you filming in Vegas? I'm back in LA. The movie producers told me to take a break too. Um, Savage? I just hope they don't decide to replace me. What? Why would they do that? They said they need a clean cut actor with a good image for the role. That's ridiculous. Can they do that? But that's ridiculous. Yeah. Sora, I'm kind of tired. Do you mind if we talk again another time? Wow. Of course. Sweet dreams. Same to you. Mason seems so sad and worried. Let me guess, you're gonna go to him, aren't you? I hope he's right and this blows over quickly. It did not blow over, it blew up. What? Mason Scott's former assistant tells all, says actor is horrible human being. Wow. Yeah, I heard that Mason Scott is an absolute butthole. And to think I used to idolize him. Such a pity because he's so cute, but he's canceled now. <gasps> Why is everyone canceling Mason without any proof? In the ongoing Mason Scott Sega, the troubled actor has now been fired from the new movie that he's been working on. When asked to comment, producers say they want a less controversial actor for the lead role. Fired? This is crazy. He's been vilified. Mason must be absolutely devastated to be fired. I need to make sure that he's okay. Hmm. Mason. 
Mason. Why is it so dark in there? Oh, you're still in bed? Are those beer bottles? Mason, did you get wasted and pass out in bed? I, uh, maybe. What is it, Sora? I heard that you were fired from your movie. I just wanted to call and see how you were doing. I'm fine. Mason, you're obviously not fine. Leave me alone, Sora. I'm finished. Everybody hates me now. Oh, no, Mason, don't cry. <laughs> I'm here for you and I'll always be here. We'll get through this together. Yes. Oh, Mason, I know you're feeling terrible right now, but I want you to know you're not alone. I may not be there physically with you, but I'm here for you. And I'll always be here for you. Maybe I can't stop the downpour, but I'll always join you for a walk in the rain. Thanks, Sora. Mason is moved by your concern and support. Good. Fix her up, man. That truly means a lot to me. Of course, I meant every word. I really, really like you. Sure, I guess, if that helps. I really, 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 really really, really like you, Mason Scott. You know that, right? I think I do, but I wouldn't mind hearing it again. Mason Scott, I really, really like you. I really, really like you too. And you know what? I actually feel better already. I'm going to get up now and stop feeling sorry for myself and throw away all these beer bottles and change the sheets. I'll call you later, okay? Okay. Thanks for calling me, Sora. I'm so glad I could help him feel better. And it feels so good to tell him how I feel about him. That little smile on his face. But I hate the thought of him being all alone. I have to be there for him. LA, here I come. Let's go where we weren't invited. Okay, on to the next chapter, guys, because I was too short. Chapter 12, second last. I have to be there for him. LA, here I come. Wow, Mason's house is huge. Hello? Maybe I should have called him to let him know I was coming. Sora? Hi, yep, that's me. Oh God, I didn't catch you at a bad time, did I? I'm gonna say, yep, that's me. What are you doing here? Surprise! You flew to LA just to come see me? Kiss him, hug him, be really awkward. I'm gonna kiss him. I did. Mm, yay, he doesn't have another girl here, nice. That kiss was sizzling. That's one heck of a greeting. I was just worried about you. I'm fine now, but that's really sweet, thank you. So are you going to invite me in or? Of course, come on in. Ooh, who's that? Oh, I'm sorry, I really am interrupting something. No, no, you're really not. We were almost done with our meeting anyway. This is Daniel, he manages my PR. Yeah, Daniel, you're doing a really bad job. Oh, this is Sora, nice to meet you, honey. I'm gonna say, how do you know me? Oh, I've heard so much about you from Mason. Oh, nice. Daniel has an idea how I can improve my public image. Dogs. Dogs? Volunteering at an animal shelter will definitely help to improve your image. I don't know, isn't this kind of fake to do volunteer work just for publicity? But you genuinely love dogs. Besides, I found out that you come here quite often to volunteer secretly. Wait, what? You volunteer secretly at an animal shelter? You know, I'm not even surprised. You know, you have a heart of gold. But please, Mason, let me leak your philanthropy anthropic acts to the media so everyone knows what you really like. We need to do this to fight this stupid smear campaign. Oh, I guess you can do that. Come on, I'll introduce you to Lee, he works here. Mason, back so soon? The dogs will be so happy to see you again. Hey Lee, these are Sora and Daniel. Hey. Hi, I'm so excited to help out. Thank you. Daniel does my PR. Is it okay if he takes a few photos of me here? And a video. And a video. Oh, for the media, that would be great. It'll help raise awareness for the shelter. See, Mason, told ya. Woof, woof. Oh, can we please meet the dogs now? Of course, this way. Woof, woof. Oh my god, guys, it's Tinkerbell. This is Tinkerbell. She's a chihuahua. Chihuahua. She's sensitive and affectionate and likes nothing better than to be close to people. Oh, look at her. She's so adorable. And she's very affectionate. This is Jasper. He's a French bulldog. He rarely barks and is patient and affectionate. Aw, so sweet. And finally, this is Daisy. She's a golden retriever. She's gentle and trusting and loves playing in the water. She's beautiful. Oh no, the cage is a bit too small for her. Yeah, the golden retriever is a large breed. Luckily, she's still young. Hopefully, she'll get adopted before she gets even bigger. Mason and I spend the next two hours helping clean the cages and walking the dogs. Perfect, you two look so cute. Dog parent goals. Finally, it was time to say goodbye to the dogs. I usually prefer cats, but you lot are so sweet. Now I understand why you come here every month to volunteer. Yeah, these little guys really grow on you, don't they? I'm going to miss them. Thanks so much for helping out today. All right, time for you all to get back in your cages. Oh no, it's so sad that they have to go into those small cages. <laughs> cages, dogs. Yeah, it makes me sad too. I can't do anything about the cages, I'm afraid. It's the only option unless they are adopted. Why don't you two adopt a dog? What? You would be a great dog parent. 
I do have lots of room in my house if you want to adopt a dog together. If I adopt a dog with Mason, I'd be rescuing it. And Mason and I would be dog parents together. Then he's stuck with me. You can choose which dog to adopt. Or maybe all three. All three? Wow, that's a, that's a commitment right there. Adopt all three dogs and be dog parents with Mason. Adopt one dog and rescue it from the sad cage life. All three, man. Let's do it. Let's adopt all three. <laughs> okay. My babies, you're all coming back home with us. You adopted all three dogs. Cute, now I have to move in here and we're all good. This room is so perfect. It was so fun decorating it together with you. Tinkerbell, Jasper, and Daisy are going to be so happy here. It was the right thing to do. No more little cages for these guys. I'm glad we did this. Me too. These photos and videos of you volunteering at the shelter are perfect. I'm going to work on the press release right now. Thanks, Daniel. Do you think it'll help? To be honest, it'll help a little, but not much. Let's just hope I will clear those vicious rumors soon. Ugh, your former assistant sold another interview to yet another tabloid. Ooh, time to go and do more damage control. <gasps> Wait, your former assistant is this guy? I know him. Whoa, mic drop, what? She knows him, how? Is he an ex or did she play video games with him? How do we know him? Oh my God. This is so interesting. Guys, there's only one chapter left in this story. Can't wait to finish it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you think this is gonna have a nice and clean, tidy wrapped up ending. Anyway, give this video a like, subscribe with the notification bell, and I will see you guys later. Bye.